going on guys welcome back to another video so uh today i actually received some wrap which is good yeah i'm just gonna do the trunk nothing major nothing crazy um the wheels still the biggest upgrade i think no matter what it looks good with these wheels which i love because you know i don't know i just really like them i think they look really good um like i said maybe gloss black in the future not sure but anyways so i'm just gonna do a little bit of the body work try to get rid of as many dents as i can and then once i do that i'll go ahead and wrap it and uh get that trunk wrapped should be pretty easy it's pretty simple you know you got this one edge here that's kind of difficult but this bottom piece piece of cake and then here's your trim line you don't try to wrap the whole thing you do a two part you do the top part and the bottom part and then that's where your line is going to be which as you can see you kind of have an ugly weld line there so it doesn't even matter but let me knock that out real quick I may get a lot of criticism because I will admit my body work is not up to any standard. I know it's not like for myself, I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. What's the worst thing can happen? You know what I mean? I guess I can somewhat make it worse, but this is just Bondo. I can, it might not come out perfect or it might not come out any better, but I can't ruin it too much, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I know I, I got a lot of air pockets stuck in here, which would be bad because when I go to sand it down, if any of these are real deep, you know, it'd be no, I'll have to do it again. So, um, which I guess is fine. As long as I keep doing it and I keep practicing, right? This is more like practice than anything. And I forgot this corner one, but I got to do that. And then after I do that, I got to actually remove the license plate bracket and the tail lights, which these are pretty easy. So I'll, I'll pull both these out and then I'll um, get it, start getting it ready. Cause once we do that, when we sand this all, once we sand this all and make sure it's all smooth, thousand grit, 2000 grit, it'd be ready to wrap, which will look good. I also have to get this off with some uh, glue off, but we'll get this all done. Just don't hate on me. Here's the first one I already sanded down. Pretty, oh shit, it's pretty smooth. Um, I'll look it over, see if it needs more. Might need more, but if it doesn't need more, I'll hit it with some uh, Stila primer, see what it looks like. All right, I was on the 320 grit. Now I'll switch back to the, this one is the, no, I was on the 80 grit. Now we'll do 320 again. Just so we don't go too deep with this last layer there. So here she is, guys. All done. Patchy, but it really is smooth as butter. Besides this part, I didn't really get those out there. I don't care about those. I just care about these big ones, which were here. But now it's smooth as butter, sanded, 1,000 grit. Um, so now we can throw that wrap on there, and it should come out pretty good. And let's just hope that uh, we have no mistakes. None of that Bondo comes up or anything like that, but we, it, it shouldn't. So hopefully it will go on there and it won't come up and it's nice and smooth and you won't see much. Plus that 3M, it is, it is our, the, the wrap itself gives an appearance of orange peel, which I kind of hate, but it's whatever. As you guys can see here, you see how it looks orange peely? That's not the door, that's the wrap, but it's still not bad for 3M. Well, I guess it's technically isn't because Avery's almost the same price, and I heard Avery has a real gloss finish, so we might do Avery once we're done with the orange, but we might not even have this car then. But regardless, it's whatever. Um, it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to throw that first layer on. Like I said, I'm going to do two-piece, bottom piece, and then top piece, and then that'll be it. The trunk will be wrapped. We'll put the taillights back in, and uh, let's see how that looks like. Rear emblem was completely peeling and faded, so I painted it gloss black. You can't really see it. It doesn't look very good. Um, I'm definitely gonna order a new one, but for the most part, for the next couple days, it might look good next to the 335i with the orange. I'm not sure. I personally don't think it will, but hey, it's better than that ugly, faded, and peeling one we had, so it's whatever.
So check this out. So there's the orange trunk. Got the lights in. Like I said, we had to paint this puppy black. I don't like it. I don't mind that when you have the actual BMW one in the back and then you black out the four corners. I think that looks good. This just doesn't look good to me because it's just, it's too, I don't know, too dark, but I think this looks really good. This is probably my favorite part, 335i on the orange, um, which is the theme of this car. Like I said, we're trying to do gloss black and orange and just make it that perfect mix where it's not corny or it looks ridiculous. So that looks sick to me. I love it. Um, and it, you know, makes me think more, oh shoot, you know, do these look better? The black emblems look better with these gunmetal wheels or would it look better with gloss black wheels? So, like I said, we'll figure that out when we get closer to the uh, finished product. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick that license plate bracket on, put that inner shielding on, and then close it and we'll pull it out, give it a wash, see what this puppy looks like with an orange trunk. And every time I do something like this, I'm just like, oof, you know, type for the next thing. So now I'm mad I don't have more wrap, right? But then at the same time, I still got turbos to do. I still got exhaust to put on. I still got a bunch of things to do. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely like a whole different car now. For compared to like when I first got it, you know, because when I first got it, it was a piece of junk 328. Now it, you know, low-key looks like a beast, even though, well, it looks like a beast all while being an ugly beast. So I don't know, but I'm going to pull it out, wash it, and then see what it looks like. A nice clean wash i'm pretty stoked with this trunk i'm gonna order more for sure and uh, try to fix this car this quarter panel as you can see here we got some dents here and then a couple dents here but nothing too bad nothing that we can't do here at home so this quarter panel hopefully will be done soon and then um rear bumper like i said i need a new one we got a pretty gnarly dent there. It's just not worth trying to fix. I mean, it's worth trying to fix. I guess I'm gonna look into some plastic bumper videos, see if it's repairable. But if it's not repairable, it's pretty easy to come by. So I just gotta find one. And then of course our nasty quarter panel. But um, if I can at least get one side wrapped, I'd be pretty happy. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys think it looks good. I think it looks amazing. For what it is, it's not amazing, of course. A fully wrapped car would be amazing, but slow and steady wins the race, in my case. And it uh, makes me appreciate every stage more, you know? Like, I also took off the tent. So that window over there is now tentless. I gotta get those tinted. But uh, yeah, I was saying, every stage makes it more fun, you know? Like, first, it was the running and driving stage. That was cool. Then it was the manual swap. That was cool. You know, then it's the front lip, then it's the wrap doors, then it's the wheels. And every time I get to drive it around, I'm starting to love it more. And it really brings you closer, you know, compared to me just buying this either built or, you know, doing it all at once. Which I guess you would still like it, but this is just making me appreciate it more because I know what I'm going through every step of the way with this thing. But, uh, yeah, we'll get it done soon. Have faith in us, boys. But uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.